I am Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 4, page 146, Nelson, chapter 3.3, Optimization. A rectangular piece of cardboard, 100 cm by 40 cm, is going to be used to make a rectangular box with an open top by cutting congruent squares from the corners. Calculate the dimensions for the box with the largest volume. Right? So let's make a sketch representing the situation. Let us say this is the box for us, right? So it is a piece of cardboard from which we need to make a box. So what we will do is we will turn from all the four corners x units, right? So this is this is how we are going to sketch it. So what we are doing at this stage is that let us say the length is 100, right? Let's say this 100 is the total length in centimeters and this width is 40 centimeters right so all these dimensions are in centimeters so out of that we are going to cut squares at the corner which are of x dimensions each right x dimensions each correct so from here you can say that x could be maximum you could cut to 20 right so x could be greater than 0 and is less than 20 right let's write less than equals to giving it boundary conditions now once you cut these corners then you fold them up so what you really get here is a box whose height is x whose length is 100 minus 2x and whose width is 40 minus 2x you get the idea right so that is the kind of box which you will get and the question is to maximize the volume of this box, right? So that is how we have to understand the question. Now we can write volume in terms of x, the one variable which we have here. So volume x, height, length into width, right? So volume is length times width times height. And in this particular expression, length is 100 minus 2x with this 40 minus 2x and the height is x correct once you multiply these you get the volume so we can write this volume as let's multiply by x first so we get 100x minus 2x square times 40 minus 2x now we'll open the bracket so once you open the bracket you get 40 times 100 which is 4000 x minus 100x times minus 2x so 200x squared minus 2x times 40 40 times 2 is 80 so we get 80x squared and when you multiply these terms you get 4x cubed so that is the expression for volume in terms of x now to maximize the volume we need to find critical number so let's find its derivative and later we'll equate this to zero right you could actually combine these terms right 280 and then do it but anyway we can combine it later also so the derivative here is 4000 minus 2 times 200 is 400 x 2 times 100 and 180 is 160 x 3 times 4 is 12 so we get 12 x squared what we need to do is to find a critical number here so to find critical number we need to equate this to 0 so 0 is equals to we'll combine the terms now 4000 minus 160 plus 400 is 560 X plus 12 X square so that is the quadratic equation which we get now you can use quadratic formula or factor to solve this equation Anyway, we can simplify by dividing it by 4 first. So in that case, what we get here is dividing by 4, we get 0 equals to 1000 minus when you divide 560 by 4, 140x, right, uh, plus 3x squared. You can rearrange so that you know what a, b, c are. So we have 3x squared minus 140x plus 1000, right? Now we can apply the quadratic formula which says x should be equals to minus b which is 140 plus minus square root of 
140 square minus 4 times AC which is 3 times 1000 right square root divided by 2 times A which is 3 correct so that is how the quadratic formula is we can use calculator to find the answer so what we really get here is uh, let's calculate the square root terms first which is square root of 140 square minus 4 I mean let's do it again so square root of 140 square minus we can say 4 times is 12 12,000 okay 12 1 2 3 equals to 20 square root 19 let's find the decimal value 87.17 so what we get here is uh, 80 140 plus minus 87.17 I mean 17 divided by 6 right so let's take away 87.17 from 140 so we have 140 minus the answer uh, and then we'll divide this by 6 so we get uh, 8.8 .8, right so 8.8 .8 becomes x which is the height of the box correct so once you get height of the box as 8.8 .8, now in that case you can find length and width right so from here let's write down what the length and width should be for the given x um, conditions length is 100x minus I mean 100 minus 2x so length is equals to 100 minus 2 times 8.8 .8, and that is equals to let's calculate so we have 100 minus 2 times 8.8 .8, which is equals to in decimals 82.4 the units are centimeters right and the width is equals to 40 minus 2x 40 minus 2 times 8.8 .8. so we'll do 40 minus 2 times 8.8 .8. and that gives us in decimals 22.4 right so so we get all the dimensions and we can now write down the answer so the answer for us is length is 82.4 centimeters by 22.4 centimeters by 8.8 .8 centimeters right now that is how you should be doing it it's a straightforward question but the important thing here is make a sketch and then find a relation and work out do the calculations right so I hope that gives you confidence in doing things your answer this one is the correct answer so uh, and continue in the similar way solving rest of the questions from your book thank you and all the best